Firstly, thank you so much for coming out to the Business and IP Centre on a Saturday morning. Um, it's really great to see some new faces and hopefully you'll find some useful resources here for you. Um, so basically, we are partnered with the British Library in London. We're one of a few different centres around the country that are part of the Business and IP network. So that means we can offer um, in-house intellectual property advice, as well as a whole array of different services that are free for business people such as yourselves to come and take advantage of. Um, got our opening hours there, fairly standard. But I just wanted to tell you a little bit about some of the resources that are available to you. So obviously, being a library, we have a great business book collection. We're actually currently investing to update that and give it a good refresh and bring some more inspirational titles, especially aimed at people starting and running their own businesses. Um, we also have a great e-book collection. Obviously, not everyone has time to come into a physical library and you don't always want to take out a physical book. So e-books are a great alternative. That means you can take them out and they'll actually just expire at the end of your loan period. So there's no fear of um, late loan fees. Um, we also, as you've probably seen as you came in, we've got plenty of PC access. If you feel the need to use a desk for a day, just come to us and you can come and do that for free. Um, also, one of the things that might be of that advantage to you are our access to online subscriptions. So basically, we pay so you don't have to. So we've got things like Ibis World as a fairly new addition. This is a really great resource because it gives you access to high quality data and market research that you can then save from, download and print. This can be really useful when you're putting together a business plan because it's from a trusted source and it gives you the evidence you need to prove your point essentially. Um, we also have COBRA, which stands for Complete Online Business Advisor. This is a great start for anyone looking to start their own business. Obviously people such as yourselves will have a great background but there's always gaps in knowledge that every, everyone can fill. So this has lots of introductory um, introductions to different areas of business and there's also lots of on your online tutorials you can take advantage of. If you're not used to using any of these resources, we can provide guidance and help from our expert staff. We also have introductory sessions to COBRA that you can book onto for free. Um, another useful resource is, is MINT, which stands for Marketing Intelligence. This is a fantastic searchable database of different companies. You can specify your search criteria to area, industry, and it's a great way to get the information you need to target your advertising, see what your competition is, things like that. And at the moment, we will also offer a downloadable printable service, um, which normally costs £30, but we have quite a bit of funding to provide this for free. So if you know what you're looking for, we can actually do the work for you and get you the research you need. Um, one of the other things that we focus on in this library are our events. We've got quite a, a long, large programme of events that happen in this library. So what we do on a regular basis is free one-to-one -one business advice sessions. So we work with various partners, um, Mentor Business Support are one of the main ones. They provide free um, business advice for people looking to start or grow their businesses. And they come in uh, once every two weeks. So you can find all of these events on our Eventbrite page, which you'll see a link to there. Um, we also work with people like New Anglian Growth Hub for focusing on business growth. If you'd like to grow your business, expand into new markets, they're the people to go to. Um, we also work with Leeds Prior Solicitors. You can come and talk to a solicitor for free, which is a rare thing, um, and they are really approachable and they'll give you some advice on you know, legal information, what you need to do to take your business forward. Again, we work with Larkin Gowan Accountants, who again, they come in once a month and you can speak to an accountant about your business finances and they'll give you lots of tips on how to keep that cash flowing. Um, we also have a Spotlight Bite Sized Business Skills Workshop um, programme which on a rotational basis we have about six or seven different um, really inspirational topics that you can choose from. Things like how to use social media for your business, um, how to get branding advice to make your business really stand out. There's things on business planning, introductory workshops, things like that. So there's quite a lot to choose from. And as well as that, we have inspirational one-off events all the way through the year, often focusing on different industries, um, getting inspirational entrepreneurs to come in and share some of their tips for success. And also being partnered with the British Library means we have access to some really nationally recognised speakers. So they often get people like Mary Portis, she probably as a name everyone seems to recognise. We often live stream from these panel events that happen at the British Library. It's a great chance to network and we normally get a local speaker in in a, re in a relevant um, 
industry to come and speak about their local knowledge as well. So it's, it's a great partnership we've got going with the British, British Library. It's a way that we can bring things on a local level that we wouldn't normally have access to. So um, in your packs you'll see there's a little overview of everything we do. So that's all the information you need about us, including how to book onto events and how to access all of our resources. Um, we also have a great newsletter which goes out monthly. So if you want to know what kind of events we've got and what's available to you, just come and speak to a member of staff and we can add you to that. So um, yeah, that's basically what we do. Come and talk to us if ever you need anything. And most of our events are free, so come and take advantage of them. Okay, so I'm going to hand over to Kate now to talk a bit about the UEA Library. Thanks, Lona. Thank you. Um, so as I've already said, my name's Kate. Uh, my name's Kate Squire. I am representing the UEA Library. Um, for those of you in the room who are alumni, you might know um, people who were previously in my post, like Carly or Sean. Um, I've been in post uh, for about a year and a half now. Um, so I support social sciences, so that includes the business school. And when I came here and started working in the library and with the business school, I was really pleased to see that we had um, colleagues in the centre of town offering all of these wonderful services. So it's really exciting to be here today and be able to collaborate. Um, I know that a lot of you, whether you are studying at the moment or whether you've um, graduated and you're alumni, um, want to carry on doing extracurricular or um, outside of work, study and kind of development. So I'm just here to talk to you about what the library, the UEA library can offer you um, beyond your time studying at the UEA. So could you um, just give me a wave if you were already aware that as alumni you can access the UEA library? Yeah, okay, a few of you, that's great. It's not something that everybody knows and everybody takes advantage of. Um, so because we have this lovely, well, some, some people love our building, some people are not such a big fan of the brutalist architecture, but because we have this listed building, the building itself is open to the public. So whether you're an alumni or you're the general public, you can come and visit our building um, for free with a day pass. So if you and one of your colleagues are studying and you want to study buddy space um, of an evening, you can come along and just ask for a one-day pass for an ad hoc visit. You bring along, say, your passport or your driving licence. We can sign you in for the day. Um, that will offer you access to the space um, and it will also offer you access to the Wi-Fi and you can use our physical stock, the, the books on the shelf, as reference. Um, unfortunately, what it won't do is offer you out of hours service. So our library is open 24 hours, but with that service you have to come in when our, our staff are on the desk. Um, after 7, Monday to Thursday, we have security, and it's after 6 on a Friday, we have security rather than our staff. Um, so yeah, if you're just after kind of dipping in and coming using the space and flicking through some books, that's great. But as alumni, you're also, um, you also have the option for a few kind of extended services. So you also have the option of this one-year access card. So if you're just interested in the space, this is great. It's £20 for the year, but it means you can use the building for 24 hours a day, uh, for, uh, seven days a week. So if you're going to crack into some studies on top of your work, and you want a quiet space to come and focus away from home. That's really lovely. Again, you get the Wi-Fi access um, and you can use the physical stock. But in both of these options, so the one day pass or the access card for 24 hours, you've also got a couple of dedicated PCs in the library, which will allow you access to our, uh, a lot, most of our online journals. What it won't offer, I'm afraid, is access to the more professional tools, the kind of business databases. So as a academic institution, we get slightly different contracts than public libraries do with these suppliers. So things like um, Mintel, MarketLine, those kind of resources, unfortunately, they're not open to you if, unless you're studying at the UEA. 
But if you're doing some academic research where you want to have a look at journal papers and research that's out there, then there are two dedicated PCs that you can go on and download papers from. Um, if you're studying elsewhere, so if you've signed up for a course at another university, um, you can apply for an even more enhanced uh, service, so you get 24 hour access, but you also get a loan entitlement if your course is postgraduate. So that's worth looking at. If you are studying elsewhere, go online and type in SCONUL Access, S-C-O-N-U-L. That card is free, um, and yeah, it lets you use the library and um, for 24 hours, and you can, most of the time, if you're postgraduate, also borrow. If you're not studying elsewhere, but you do want some borrowing rights, there is another card, <laughs> so many options. This one's £50 for the year, but it means that you get to borrow five items at a time, you get 24 hour access, um, and you get to renew online. So with all of these options, you get the um, walk-in access to our journals, and you get Wi-Fi. Um, so all of this information is online. If you um, look in your packs, you'll see one of these leaflets, which, which gives you an overview. If you've got any questions about them, um, the various different options, or you're interested and you want to speak about them a little bit further with one of our team, there's a phone number on there and an email address. Just email him, we'll talk you through. If you want to have a quick look at our collection without coming in, before you decide to sign up to any of these options, if you just go on the UEA website and go to the library pages, um, you're probably familiar with this if you've already studied with us or you're studying with us at the moment, but we have our catalogue called Library Search. So if there are particular textbooks, say you signed up for a course and the textbooks you need are going to cost hundreds of pounds and you just want to dip into them, um, you decide the £50 access will see you through your course and you can borrow the books from us. Then just pop in here, see if we've got them, um, and just search online. And again, just phone our team if you have any questions. Um, that's kind of a whistle-stop tour of those options. Uh, does anyone have any questions before? Yeah? Uh, external borrower card of £50, is it just for hard copies or is there any electronic journals access? Um, so the electronic journal access you can get with or without the um, £50. The £50 card is to open access up to you so that you can use the building 24 hours and also you can borrow physical items, yeah. But if you're after um, journal articles, then you can come in and there are a couple of desi designated PCs and you get a login for the day and you can go on and you can do your research and download PDFs of the articles. Unfortunately, none of the options allow us to open up access to the professional tools. It's just that because we're a um, university, our contracts with these big um, databases uh, are restricted. So obviously they want to then try and offer you their services once you graduate and go and open your own businesses. So they're, if they extend their access to um, alumni, then sometimes well, then they're going to be kind of doing themselves out of some business. So unfortunately we can't offer that, but we can offer journal article access. <coughs> Any more questions? Okay, well I'll be here for the rest of the day, so come and find me if you think anything of anything to ask. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs>